till now. TUN 618 is the largest black hole ever discovered. It has a mass of 60 billion suns. It is extremely monstrous in size, having a diameter of 2,600 astronomical units, or 388 billion kilometers. Even light will take 15 days to travel across its diameter. It requires millions of years for a black hole to grow to this size. But recently, astronomers have discovered the farthest and oldest known black hole ever. This black hole challenges our theories of evolution of the universe and black holes. This black hole could have formed in a very different circumstances than normal black holes and is very very monstrous in size. So, how big this black hole is? How it is different from other black holes? Why this black hole should not exist? Let's see in this video. To get updated with latest astronomy news, subscribe to our channel. Few days ago, astronomers discovered the most distant quasar, which is home to a supermassive black hole. When a very large amount of matter, falls into a black hole, then black hole becomes overloaded, so it releases very large amount of energy, in the form of jets, thus forming a quasar. This basically happens in young galaxies, or colliding galaxies, where there is very large amount of matter. Recently scientists have discovered, the oldest quasar ever seen. This quasar is named J0313180606. This quasar has a supermassive black hole, of mass equal to 1.6 billion suns. This black hole is 13.03 light years away from us. Now, you might be thinking, this black hole is much smaller than TUN 618. But, just think, we are seeing this black hole, as it was when our universe was very very young, just 670 million years. So how does this black hole have such high mass? As it requires millions of years, for a black hole to grow to this size. The black hole at the center of our galaxy, has a mass of just 4.2 million suns. So the question, is how did J0313180606 become so massive, at such an early stage of the universe? If this black hole was created when the universe was just 100 million years old, then, even at the fastest growth rate, it would not have more than 10,000 suns. Well, some scientists suggest that, this black hole would have formed, by some different process, unlike normal black holes, which are formed due to supernova explosions. Just imagine how massive this black hole is now. It could be much much more massive, than TUN 618. Scientists observed a wind of heated gas, flowing from around this black hole, with gas traveling at one-fifth the speed of light. There is extremely active star formation activity, near this quasar, creating 200 solar masses every year. This shows that, this black hole is in a very young galaxy. Size of this black hole raises another question. Is our universe much older than we think? We can't say anything for sure. This black hole helps us to know how supermassive black holes can affect its host galaxy and how black holes evolve.